That's I cute. want all the receipts, and I casually leave them out everywhere. Have you ever done that? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this when I say this, like the idea of asking for a friend is to be like helpful, especially because like if you don't know who to ask, don't want to ask anybody really in your life yeah. that's right that close to you, you don't want to Google it. Like this is a good way to do it because there's somebody who's gone through something similar or has different perspective on it. In this case, fake name Marnie inherited, I think she's like 50 grand uh, yeah. from a relative who passed away. And she was wondering, does she need to tell husband about it? Does she hide it? 877-995-4681. That's the number to call. You can also text 99338. We'll call you back. My initial thought, I understand the idea of wanting to hide it in the sense that you don't want it to change the dynamic of the relationship. Where it's like, yeah. oh, we have this, so you know, we can be a little more be a little more spendy-spendy. So I understand her logic with that. Uh, Rose, let's just say, God forbid, uh, Clint has a long, great lost uh, uncle who dies in a shark accident in the mall. Where the shark tank that breaks and eats him <laughs> in the mall. It's would you detailed. want Clint to tell you or would you understand if he didn't? Um, I feel like we have a relationship where we, we've been very open about um, our finances from like the beginning. So I would hope that he felt comfortable enough to tell me because he knows that that's not going to change anything in our relationship. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to go and like spend the money, um, but I can like hopefully help encourage him to use it in uh, like invested in some way. So I like, and if this were me, if I inherited this money, I absolutely would tell him too. There's, um, okay, line. Does line two need voice change or name change? Because that that okay. Okay, R- Rose, I want you to imagine. Okay, um, I feel like this is gonna be really juicy. <laughs> Mary, good morning. Good morning. You Hi. first of all, Mary, you sound lovely. Wh- whatever you're having, I'll take two. Um, so. <laughs> You inherited a decent chunk of change at some point in your life. Over a million dollars. Oh, yeah. my and word. I, and it was 10 years ago, and I have said nothing <gasps> to my partner of 18 years. No idea. So are we just, is it just? No idea. Okay. Uh, so many questions, Mary. Is this, have we dipped into it for emergencies? Are we saving this for a rainy day? At some point, we're going to be like, hey, and by the way, like, what's the what's the plan? I'm still working, which I don't have to, but I love my job. Okay. I'm, I'm self-employed. Okay. Um, I dip into it every once in a while, you know, and he's he's kind of like, well, where'd you get your money? I said, he, you know, we've been Only together fans. for almost 19 years. We're not married. I don't have to tell you where I got my money. Oh, <laughs> see, see that? That is the yes, big thing. Girl. Y'all, you guys are yes. married. Married. Marriage has been off the table for years because I think he thinks, not that he's better than me, but because he's more educated and he makes a lot of more money than me. Oh. I, I don't know. I think if I tell him, yeah. then marriage would be on the table. But at this point, after 19 years, no. You know, Mary, <laughs> Honestly, like, flex I, those nuts, girl. I understand where you're coming from like i feel like if someone's like yeah i make more money than you like if that was off the table i, I probably wouldn't say anything about my finances either no yeah i was I, i'm a struggling single mom you know i put both my kids through school um never said anything to him he always wondered well how do you know how do you get yeah. to manage to put your kids through but he's on his business. yeah mary he but, he hasn't figured out why there's a gymnasium wow. with your statue out in front of it right? he, has, he has no idea why well, holy cow. it's the it's the fighting mary's um, now, now, have you ever done this flex, Mary? Because if I had if I had one point eight million dollars in the bank account, I go to Seven Eleven, I check the ATM, take ten dollars out, and said, "Do you want a receipt?" I say, "Yes." Yes. I, I do. want all the receipts, and I casually leave them out everywhere. Have you ever done that? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. my! I love you. I also, I also donate a lot too, which is so fantastic. I do that if wow. you want to donate to the uh, Chewy Fund, which is just Chewy's Vet Bills in yeah. general, you're more than welcome to. Mary, thank you for calling. <laughs> that is, uh, wow, that is fantastic. You, you continue yeah. being a badass. The I tell him, I'll let you guys know. Listen, please do, and, and record it so we can see. Thank you so much, Mary. <laughs> Have a great day. Okay, thank you. You too. <laughs> Bye. To uh, Louisville, Kentucky, we go on the iHeart Radio app. Jason, good morning. Hey, how's it going? Good, man. So you uh, you also inherited a decent chunk of change. Yeah, my grandpa gave up 
all of uh, the kids ten thousand um, dollars when he passed away, and I ended up just telling my wife at the time that I got two grand from oh. him and gave her half, and then took the other nine thousand and just put it in my four hundred one k. Okay, well that's that's a good use Th- for it. Ha- does your wife know now, and, uh, or is this gonna be like a funny story one day no. where it's like, hey, remember that time I lied to you? No, I'm not married anymore. Oh, so well, hell yeah. Did, her. Yes. So well, I just I just knew her spending habits, and if yeah. I said ten grand, it would have just been yeah. So allegedly, you lied. So. You, you, allegedly, Jason. Yes, absolutely. Right. Listen, man. Uh, really? Smart man. Like that. That was a very, that's a very smart yeah. play. If you if you know who you're uh, with. Yeah, for so that girl with the fifty grand, I would just tell her the person that you know I got a thousand dollars and. Here's five hundred, and then keep the rest. And yeah, I I not listen, tell her about it. I or wish yeah, this or is, whoever. What a problem to have, too, Jason. Man, we appreciate right. you listening in Louisville, especially on the app. Man, we missed the villain. I'll be I'll be back hopefully in October, I believe. So hopefully see you then, man. Awesome. Yep. Have a great Thanks. day, dude. Thank you so much for listening. You too. Let's go to yep. Amy. Good morning, Amy. Good morning. How are you? Doing well, thank you. So you're saying she should or should not tell her husband? I think she should. So yeah. here's the thing. How much do you value the relationship? Because, oh. you know, $50,000 is a lot of money. Sure and is. I'll say I inherited an unhideable amount of money. But if she starts buying things that are expensive, then it's just going to raise way more questions. Yeah, that's like, true. oh, you have a Lexus now. Why do you have a Lexus if yeah. that's outside her means? Wait, Amy, did you say you inherited an unhideable amount of money? Yeah. Can may I ask like ballpark how much we're talking here? More or less seven than figures. what was it? Seven figures. Oh seven wow, seven yeah. Figures. That's so. Have you, have you ever done the flex where you just casually leave the receipt? Oh God, no. Okay, I because I, I, no, I no 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 you don't invite trouble. <laughs> no, there yeah, is that. That's smart. Yeah, but th- she knows it would be nice. Can I, this is a more personal question, Amy. If you uh, if you ever go to like Target thing, because obviously with seven figures, if your card gets declined, <laughs> you must be like I would actually be like worried then. Yeah, I mean, like, oh, something. Because if, yeah. if you got seven figures in the bank account, and you can't get a pack of gum at Target. Something happened. You know what I mean? Oh, well, yes, that's true. So you take it and you invest it wisely. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Legos. Legos and Pokemon <laughs> cards. And that's the big thing that I'm yeah, going to probably invest in. So if you, exactly. if you need investing both, advice, Pokemon Amy. Cards. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the way you do it. That, you got to catch them all. Amy, thank you so much for calling. Have a, have a great day. Sure. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I mean, that's what wow. I would do. If I. That's- yeah, I, get Pokemon cards. I wouldn't feel comfortable hiding any amount of money that I inherited. You need a big shoebox. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> otherwise, how are you going to fit it all in? That's true. Yeah. I'm just going to throw it out there. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a problem where it's like, it sounds really cool to have. Like, oh, it's, yeah. You know, but then it'd be like, I just wouldn't. Who would you tell? You know what I mean? Besides Uncle Sam, that would suck. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let's go to Ashley real quick for a final word. Ashley, good morning. Good morning. You want to say what about asking for a friend? I, I feel like if you have to hide something like that from your partner, you shouldn't be married. Ooh, yeah, that's... there is that. Like, if you can't trust them, like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a... Uh... Partners in life, like, that just, it, it blows my mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I, I that's... I'm curious um... to see, like, well, that's a little personal, but I'm curious to see how they, like, handle their finances just in general. Pokemon cards. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Ashley, thank you for calling. Have a great day. Oh, you too. Bye-bye. You can uh, continue over text 99338. 